Seven reasons why you, yeah you, should not even think about getting back with that blouse and skirts ex. Let them go. Let them, let them go. Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Essence of Shay, and I decided to do a different video but a much needed video I found myself in a in a bit of a conundrum and I did a little bit of research and I talked to friends and family members and realized a lot of the a lot of us go through this so before I get into this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. I feel like you will. So just click that like button that like button while we're at it. I'm gonna sit here and wait. I'm just gonna give you a couple seconds to subscribe and then <laughs> we'll get into this discussion. A much needed discussion. Number one, you are romanticizing about the past that you done forgot about the reason why y'all broke up in the beginning. See, now you're single, you're lonely, Valentine's Day has passed, your birthday might be coming up, <coughs> and you're thinking about being alone, you know, summertime is upon us, you want to go on some dates and whatnot, and you're not meeting the right person, so you're thinking about the, the ex that got away or the plethora of exes that escaped your life, and you just think about all the times when... He or she took you to Red Lobster and you sat across the table and you shared those cheddar biscuits. Because <laughs> they was warm. And then you got that shrimp Caesar salad, baby. And the side of the dressing was just dribbling down your mouth. And he or she reached over to your face and just dabbled it like, babe, I got you, I got you. You remember those things. You remember at the movie theater. At the movie theater and get out towards the end when he was running down that street away from that lady and you got all scared and your boyfriend he put his hands around you and he grabbed onto you that he felt your you felt protected in that moment even though it was in a scary movie you was scared and that is all that matters so he protected you you are remembering those moments, but you are forgetting when he yelled at you, when he dogged you out, when he wasn't listening, when he wasn't taking you out, or she or she cheated on you, or she belittled you, or she made you feel like, like you ain't nothing. You forgot about all those times, so now you have created a new person in your head from the person that you broke up with when you have no proof of if this person even exists. All you know is what you know. So you go back to this person and they are not what you envisioned in your mind and what you created. False prophets. Come through, J. Cole. Come through. Number two, you are used to certain life, familiar things, and that is not what's going on right now. You're spending more time with yourself, which can sometimes be a bummer. You're just used to this person always being there to help you out with like gas, or if you're broken, you don't have money to buy food, you can always call up that person. You're just used to certain things, so that's making you seem like you miss this person when in fact you just you don't you're just not used to now being on your own 24 7 and just being with you and your thought it takes a lot to just get over somebody so i'm not saying to just rush and not to miss the person take your time and cope drink some red wine it's good for the health that's what the doctors say what why is it that's what they say. I mean, it's disgusting, but that's what they say. Drink some. Watch the ending of Scandal if you haven't caught up. Do something to pass the time so eventually you'll be moving on in a more productive way so you're not sitting there thinking about this person 24-7 and just ruining your jam. 
Number three is what I said in number two, but a little more deeper. You're lonely. You're just, you're lonely now. You're just, it's me, myself, and I. So all I got in the end is what I found out. And it ain't no need to cry. Talk about that from now on. I'ma be my own best friend. My bad. <laughs> say is the truth you go on your Instagram and you're seeing all the pictures of you and that person together and you're just thinking about memories and it's just causing you to think of the good times and you just rather be with them than be by yourself no you rather be happy you not rather be happy than to be with the foolishness think about it uh, Think about it. Just let it go, darling. Let it go. Number four is a simple. You two just have changed. You guys are not the same people you were when you first got into a relationship. And some people, when they grow, they grow together. Some folks, when they grow, they grow apart. And it's as simple as that. Hey, Tiger Lilies. Listen, so you made it this far? You might as well just hit the subscribe button and while you're at it click that bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos because you know sometimes your girl be going mia okay back to the video bye number five is a hard one and can be a tough pill to sw swallow trust me i have been in this situation before you cannot force somebody to love you the way that you feel for that said person if they are not feeling the same way you've got to let them go it doesn't make any sense to hold on to a ship that is sailing away and ain't got no room for you let it go let it go let it go this ain't even her this is cinderella God damn it. Number six, and this could be something that once again, I have dealt with and you probably have too, is they weren't right for you, for you from the very beginning. All the signs were there. They were there. But the rose colored glasses, <laughs> the cheddar biscuits, they get you every time. They get you. Them edible brownies be making you see things that's not there. And then you sit back like six months later, you're just like, what the? F like, how you enter my existence? Like, I don't get it. Why are you here? Why are you here? Why are you here? They just wasn't right for you, sis. Bro. Whoever's watching. Are you watching? <laughs> Number seven. <sighs> and and this is what a lot of people say. And it's, it's hard to hear when you're actually going through a breakup. Or it's hard to hear when you're trying to decide if you even want to go through with a breakup. Is someone is on the other side of the heartache. Who is there waiting for you to make you feel the way that you wish you felt in the relationship that you're in now or about to exit now or you're thinking about re-entering again you got what i'm saying god has i'm gonna I'm preach for y'all real quick <laughs> pastor shay god has a person i believe for everyone i feel like he has two people for you and you'd be lucky if you find the two but i truly do believe god has someone for everyone and you have to try you have to go through the trials and tribulations before you get to said person and sometimes you guys might not even meet to be completely honest you'll find somebody close to and you'll have a life together and everything will be great but that probably wasn't the one that god had made specifically for you and sometimes that's fine but don't feel like you need to settle with not being happy and settle with what you truly do not want 
because you just don't want to be alone. It makes no sense. Let him go. Let her go. Guys, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a little different, a little change of pace, you know. Let's, you know, I like to talk to you guys. Anyways, um, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave in the comment box below. Let go. If you guys reach all the way through this video, leave in the comment box below. Let go. Anyways, guys, I love you guys so much for watching. See you later, Tiger Lilies. Toodles. Uh, crash course. Let me hide the money in the dashboard. Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the